A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you about the next best thing. You say, what do you mean, Angus? Well, the best thing is when you give your life to Jesus. And what is the next best thing? Is when you introduce an unbeliever to Jesus. That's got to be the next best thing. I want to ask you a question. When was the last time that you led or introduced somebody to the master? I know what you're saying. Angus, I'm not an evangelist. I'm not a preacher. That's not my job. It is actually. Have you ever seen a shepherd giving birth to a, a sheep? No. Sheep give birth to sheep. And shepherds look after sheep. It's our responsibility, you and me, to lead somebody to Christ. And I'm not talking about a big preach. I'm talking about an example. When they see the love in your life, they see the peace that you have, the joy in your life, they will come to you and say, what have you got? We want it. If you turn with me in your Bibles to the Gospel of John chapter 1, I want to read two verses to you. John chapter 1, verse 45 and verse 46. And this is what it says. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Verse 46. And Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said to him, Come and see. Oh, I love it. Come and see. And you know the story? You know, I'll just read a little bit more. I love the story so much. And so Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, and he said of him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. And Nathanael said to Jesus, How do you know me? And Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, when you were still standing under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Can you imagine how Nathanael must have felt when Jesus told him, I saw you standing underneath the fig tree, Nathanael. He knew his name. He knew he was an Israelite. And he knew there was no guile, there was no ugliness, there was no bad language coming out of his mouth, no untruths. But it took a man by the name of Philip to introduce Nathaniel to the master. Folks, Jesus is the one that convicts people. Jesus is the one that converts people. You can't convert anybody and neither can I. But what we can do the next best thing, what we can do is to introduce our friend to Jesus. What is evangelism? You've heard me say it so many times on this program. One hungry beggar showing another hungry beggar where to find bread. That's all there is to it. And I want to tell you, if you've never done it before, I challenge you to try it. It is the most amazing experience that you'll ever have next to giving your life to Christ. When you see a broken man, a man who wants to commit suicide, a man who's got no more hope, a man who's sitting in the gutter, and you say, I want to introduce you to my Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, when I, preach, I pray for people in hospital. I have never once gone to a hospital where I've only prayed for the person that I went to visit. When I'm finished praying for them, for God to heal them, the person in the bed next door from another faith, another religion, before I walk out, says, excuse me, can you pray for me too? And I say, of course I can. People need love. People need Jesus. People need eternal life. Until the next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.